feminists be starting something. They got to be starting something. It's feminists be starting something. They got to be starting something. Too loud to get over. Yeah, yeah. Too hard to get under. Yeah, yeah. You're stuck in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And the pain is thunder. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so our feminist superheroes for the day are Fantastic Frankie with her rocket-powered wheelchair. She is a computer hacker. She's fairly smart too, and she may be humble. Now that is Fantastic Frankie, everyone. Now we move on to Super Cheeky Sue. With her kick-ass boots to keep unfairness down, her blinding belt buckle creates instant consensus, and her empathy cape involves all, all to see everything from everyone's point of view. Now we move on to our last superhero of the day, which is Mystery Miz, and no one really knows who's, who she is, which rhymes. She can fly, her tiara thing provokes empathy. Her belt stops time while she starts out problems and has a snack. Inside her cape, she has magical pocket with all the tools that she needs at that moment. She has a kitten on her shoulder that makes bad guys behave better and come to terms with their own anger. That is our superheroes for the day, and thank you for joining me on the Feminist Superhero Channel. Da 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 da! Mon héroïne, euh, mon héroïne féministe, celle, euh, celle qui m'a beaucoup inspirée cette année et que, que j'ai vraiment admirée, c'est euh, la jeune fille, la jeune pakistanaise Malala qui a été, euh, qui a, qui a été attaquée, qui a eu reçu une balle dans la tête parce qu'elle elle tenait à son, à son droit, elle se battait fort pour son droit à étudier, son droit à aller à l'école. Vraiment, pour une jeune fille de 14 ans, euh, je lui dis chapeau, je suis vraiment contente qu'elle qu aille bien, qu'elle s'en soit, qu soit sortie. Puis, on a besoin d'encore plus d'héroïnes, de jeunes filles héroïnes féministes comme elle. Oh, Gloria Steinem. I mean, she has the, the beauty of Wonder Woman and the brains of Professor Xavier and the, the stature of Catwoman without all that stupid leather. She's just, she's awesome. It's really corny, but my feminist superhero are my parents. One, my dad is the angriest feminist man you've ever met in your entire life. He is a physically imposing dude, he's ex-military, so he can talk the talk and he can really reach other middle-aged dudes. And he wears a real men don't rape pin, and he calls out sexism in the workplace, and he fought for his colleagues to have equal pay. So he's really, really rad, and he's all about engaging other men, which I think is cool in terms of recognizing his privilege. And my mom is another feminist superhero of mine because she is a woman who always worked in male-dominated industries and understood that it was important for her to be there, but also that she shouldn't have to give up being who she is to do it. So she would put pink shoelaces on her construction boots and she would um, wear girly things if she wanted to and she would sort of talk about her family openly. Um, and so to me, that's really awesome to sort of know that like I want to be in this space, but I shouldn't have to change who I am to be in that space. And as a feminist, I take that to heart. My father checking his privilege is also really important to me. So I was lucky. I grew up with feminist superheroes, which makes it easier to feel like you are a superhero too. <laughs> There's so many to pick from, but first I'd say my mom, Heidi Vinifrakopoulou, who came as an immigrant to Canada, uh, was involved with the uh, National Action Committee on the Status of Women, and taught me uh, part of what it is to be a feminist. Uh, political women like Margaret Mitchell, like Rosemary Brown, like Madeleine Parent, and today's women that are at the forefront of the movement to take us forward. Rebels, the radical handmaids, and the women that keep the conversation going through publications or online, whether it's Ms., Horizons, or even Jezebel, these are the women that I look up to. A giant volume control. So if women needed to be heard, we could turn it up really, really loud, and if Women needed to listen, we could put everyone on mute. And this is a shout out to all the 80s kids, uh, would be a type of feminist Care Bear stare that would disarm and deconstruct my villain's misogynistic, homophobic, racist, transphobic garbage uh, that they would carry with them. Oh, well, every superhero wants invisibility. <laughs> Actually, women, women were invisible for a long time, so that's probably not a very feminist answer. Um, I would want to move faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> well, actually, women have really incredibly busy lives between work and taking care of families. They're moving faster than speeding bullets anyway, so that's just like every day. That's, 
Um, I would, I would want to have the power of downtime. I am the claimer of downtime. I say no to things that will take too much of my time because I am a woman who enjoys downtime. <laughs> that doesn't work if I stand. I would say I have one feminist superpower and it is tenacity. So I am a bit like a dog with a bone, which I just realized when I say that it means that it means I'm kind of like a bitch with a bone to pick, I guess, if I'm a dog with a bone. But I think for me it's that I am persistent to the point of absurdity. So if I have my mindset on something, there is nothing, nobody, nowhere could get me to deter from my mission. Dealing with bullshit in a graceful and insightful way. No, I think that's what I wish my feminist superpower was. It is the ability to harness collective feminist action. Alors moi, mon pouvoir, euh, si j'étais une super héroïne, ce serait vraiment, c'est mon rêve d'être capable d'envoyer des, des courriels par la force de mon esprit. Je sens que je serais tellement efficace, là, je pourrais travailler tout le temps, je me réveillerais la nuit, je pourrais envoyer des messages, je serais vraiment, vraiment super efficace. Well, the first one, which is my lame one, is the power to open minds. And then my second one, which is uh, my awesome one, is to have the power to zap a misogynist in time, back in time, to like the year 1476, because that's where they belong. And then my third one is uh, kind of selfish. It's a uh, laser beam eyesight, because it's awesome. It's supersonic hearing and super speed, so that when I hear somebody say, um, uh, so just been blag or can't you take it as a compliment or you know we don't really need feminism anymore women just want to be more than equal I can swoop in and be an ally for the feminist having that conversation and I can help explain why we still need feminism in our homes our communities in our public institutions and in our businesses um, and also you're not funny how about anything I want I think it would have a lot of sparkle and lame and maybe a gold cape. And I have my yoga mat cape that allows me to get into different positions when I need to avoid policymakers. Hmm. Misogyny, ignorance, and the desire of some to turn the clock back on women's rights. Euh, la force maléfique contre laquelle je me bats, c'est vraiment, euh, c'est vraiment, je vois la face là, de de Harper en Darth Vader, là, comme un Darth Harper, c'est vraiment, c'est vraiment lui là qu'il faut combattre. Ladies, we are battling against the yes, we are battling against the burnout. No, I can't work on that funding proposal until 5 a.m. No, I will not join a group. I'm already in too many groups. No, I'm not going to do that project. I've already got 10 projects. Oh my goodness, they could, they could just bake a pie or a, a cake or something and then put it in a windowsill and it would be like the bat signal, right? Because I'd smell it from miles away with my super pregnancy nose and then instead of creating all that light pollution like the bat signal, we could just eat it when we're done. So, pie, probably. Gatorade and cookies because being a feminist is hard work and you need to hydrate. Um, I carry what a lot of uh, feminist superhero, everyday superheroes carry, which is a day planner so I can get everything that I need to get done and uh, also so I can um, have it all, right? I think I would have a powder that when I would have it, Je pourrais, ça, 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 ça ferait disparaître euh, les, les, les personnes qui sont contre le droit à l'avortement. Vraiment, ils disparaîtraient, ils disparaîtraient. Pouf! I, I think I would go with like a, a sassy little shoe of some kind, right? Because 
that if you're going to wear a cape in 2013, you're going to have to rock it out a little bit. So maybe some Mary Janes with a little heel or something and pockets for snacks would be a good idea. I, I've never worn a cape, but I'm going to. I have a bottle of wine that I'm willing to share. Man, the kids really kill your back. <laughs> they tell you about it, but you can't. Whew. Yeah, this, this is probably it right now. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Right. Looking to the future.